Father, I'll pitch a tent and I'll wait for your presence to descend. I won't move without you. Moses asked Jesus as they're talking about this promise that he's given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He says, God, you keep talking about this promised land, but who's going to lead me there? Jesus responds, he says, I'll send an angel with you. Moses responds back and said, I don't want the promise without the promise keeper. If you don't go with me, I won't go. Does, do I have anybody in the room like that? I don't want your stuff without you. It's not good without the God that's good. I don't want the marriage if you're not in it. I don't want the job if you're not in it. I don't want the relationship if you're not in it. I don't want the house if you're not in it. Exodus 33 and 16, he tells them, he says, how would they even know a favor if you're not with me? The only thing that makes me different than any other person is that your presence is with me. I want to tell a hundred people in this room that his presence is the difference maker. When you walk into that interview, it's his presence that goes before you. When you walk into that relationship, it's his presence that shows up before you. Don't go without his presence. You got to learn how to wait on him. You got to learn how to wait on him. Though the promise tarry, wait on it. Wait on the promise keeper. Wait on him. Anybody making a decision, God, I'll stay right here. I'll trust your timing. Anybody going to trust his timing? I'll trust your way, God. Not my will, but your will be done. I won't move without you, Jesus. I'll pitch my tent. I'll make it an intentional place and setting for your Holy Spirit, for your presence to dwell. And I won't do it one day. The Bible talked about that Moses made a practice of doing this. He did it over and over, day by day, a yes continually. Anybody got a continual yes in this room? God, I'm not just giving you a yes on Sunday and a no on Monday, but Monday to Monday, my answer will be yes. If your answer is yes, can you shout yes in this room? God, your presence is a difference. Your presence is a difference. Your presence is a difference. And I'll wait on it. Daddy, teach me how to wait. Teach me how to wait. Teach me how to wait. I want your will. I want your fire. I want your way. I want your way. Somebody shout that in this room. I want your way, God. And I'll wait to hear what your way is. Let's just pray in this room. Father, I thank you, God, that we're accepting not just your will, but how you want your will to play out. Inside of your will is your timing, God. I thank you, God, for teaching us how to wait on you. I thank you that you set aside a remnant that won't make things to worship, but they know that there is only one king. There's only one savior. There's only one real God, one true and living God that we will worship and we will serve. You are the promise keeper. Your promise is a yea and amen. God, I pray that you give the person that walked in these doors today hopeless. Would you give them hope back as they make an intentional decision to wait on you? Would you give health back to the person that walked in sick? Would you give joy back to the person that came in that didn't have joy? Would you give strength back to the person that felt weak, God? You said in your presence there's fullness of joy. And that your right hand pleasures forevermore. God, I thank you for meeting us here. We set a tent. Holy Spirit, dwell here. Not just out here. We don't just lift up a song. We lift up ourselves, God. We don't just lift up a song. We lift up ourselves, God. We ask that you would dwell in our hearts. My heart is a tent for you to dwell in. Teach me how to wait. There's no rush, God. You are the promise. In Jesus' name, if you believe that, make a shout, make a sound, make a sound in this room. Hallelujah, hallelujah.